second. Hi guys, welcome back to 67th part of the Arduino tutorials. In my previous video, we have understood the basic working principle of the Hall effect sensor. And also we did some simple project on interfacing with Arduino and controlling the LED based on the presence of magnetic field. So if you have missed that video, I'll request you to watch from the link in the description box. In today's video, we'll use the same sensor module and make contactless RPM measurement device. Make sure you watch the complete video till the end. In one of our previous video, we had used the rotary encoder to measure the RPM of the DC motor. But in that, the encoder should be always mechanically connected with the DC motor shaft. But with Hall sensor, this problem will be solved since there is no requirement of physical connection between the sensor and the motor shaft. This makes the overall design simple and that is why we can see this sensor in various industrial applications. Coming back to today's project, for this you need Arduino board, Hall effect sensor module, a small magnet to activate the sensor, 16 cross 2 LCD module with I2C interface, any DC motor and some jumper wires. I purchased all these project components from flyrobo.in. They have very huge collection of components and the prices are also reasonable compared to other platforms. Make sure you explore their products. I leave the link in the description box. Coming to the connections, first I'll take the 5 volts and ground from Arduino board, common on the breadboard. So this will be 5 volts or positive line and this will be ground. The positive and negative of the sensor goes to Arduino 5 volts and ground on the breadboard. The signal pin to Arduino digital pin 2. For the LCD module, the VCC and ground goes to common 5 volts and ground on the breadboard. SDA and SCL pin goes to Arduino analog pins A4 and A5. That's all the connections. Now for demonstration purpose, I'll mount all these electronics with the motor. So here I have placed the LCD to see the RPM and also you have to make sure the magnet should be placed in such a way it activates the sensor for every rotation. Moving on to the programming, here I have already written the code. And this uses very simple formula for calculating the RPM. So mainly I'll focus on the formula or the concept, how it works. So here we have to measure the RPM or the revolutions per minute. So in our project setup, to measure the RPM, the trigger point is when the magnet comes closer to the hall sensor, which will create a pulse. So first we'll try to calculate the pulses we are getting for unit time or one second. So pulses detected in one second. Finally, we have to calculate how many pulses we are getting in one minute to get the RPM. 
so for the same we can multiply by 60 because 1 minute equal to 60 seconds so this final value will be our RPM I have used the same for writing the code as well so in the declaration we have header file for LCD module and the whole sensor pin declaration connected on digital pin 2 I have declared one more variable with value 1000 so as I explained in the code we have to calculate the pulses for every one second or 1000 millisecond in the setup function we have init calls for LCD module and additionally I have created one interrupt function which will be continuously checking for high signal on digital pin 2 which has hall sensor output and once the high signal is detected it will call the interrupt service routine function which I have given this name inside this function we are simply incrementing this variable by 1 so we have to keep doing this till 1 second for the same in the loop using if statement we are checking if the time elapsed is 1 second once we reach the time we will multiply the incremented value by 60 to get the revolutions for 1 minute so this is exactly same what I have explained in the formula in the same RPM value I am printing on the serial monitor and also on the LCD display so this is all about the code I'll upload this and show the results once we power on the Arduino board we get RPM as 0 on the LCD this is 12 volts 500 RPM motor and I'll be using this DC power supply which has 6 and 12 volts option I'll start with 6 volts for which it shows around 250 to 300 rpm and for 12 volts we get around 500 to 600 rpm So we are getting the approximate RPM values and also better than the encoder based solution. So from this demonstration you will get some idea on how this hall sensors are used for RPM measurement. In the real time applications they use multiple combination of hall sensors along with mathematical algorithms to get the precise values. So that's all about this video. I leave the code and circuit diagram link in the description box. If you are interested, you can check out. For more upcoming tutorials, stay tuned and subscribe. Thank you for watching.